We are happy to announce that we had 54 enrollments for the CLIO course. This result means that we will be able to offer 54 disciplines in different areas of research, which will turn UNESP's graduate courses more attractive to international students and encourage our students to improve their communication in this language. With the CLIO courses, professors of UNESP will learn different teaching techniques to enhance the students' learning of content and at the same time facilitate the English proficiency. We hope we can make the most of this opportunity with the experience of internationalization from the University of Queensland, which is one of the most welcoming institutions worldwide. I decided to do the CLIO course provided by University of Queensland because this course will help me a lot to teach in English and also because this course is based on the fact that the student is not receiving the information but acting on their own learning. Here in Botucatu I offered a course uh, entitled Introduction to Scientific Oral Communication and doing this training this uh, training will help me a lot to teach in English and also to motivate the students to search the knowledge in English and also for their own lives. My name is Philippa Coleman and the University of Queensland is delighted to be partnering with UNESPE for an academic development program. Our team has worked with international academics from Asia, Europe and South America for more than 10 years delivering programs designed to foster excellence in teaching and learning in higher education. To introduce our program, I have a couple of key questions for you. Do your students ever look tired or sleepy in lectures? And do you ever wonder whether they've understood the lecture content? Are you keen to explore new ways of delivering academic content? Well, these are the kinds of issues our program explores. Let's learn a little bit more. So here's a little bit more of what you can expect from our programs. You'll be working with your colleagues and tutors in a workshop environment and we'll be exploring topics such as effective lecture delivery, engaging learners through technology, managing large classes, and all the while thinking about the cognitive and linguistic challenges that students and teachers face when accessing academic content. Our workshops are practical and very interactive. We'll demonstrate techniques, encourage you to reflect on that experience, and importantly, put it straight into practice. We'll ask you to bring your own teaching materials to work on during the program. One of the major obstacles to the internationalization of higher education institutions in the world and particularly in Brazil, is associated with the language skills of those involved in internationalization actions. A recent study published in October by the European Association of International Education indicates that for 76% of their members, prepare students for the global world is their primary concern. Linguistic and multicultural skills are active components of this training. In this context, the preparation of UNESP professors to offer classes in English has two major objectives with repercussion at, in internationalization at home. By offering classes in English, we will be attracting international students to be part of UNESP academic environment at, at the same time we will be providing our students the opportunity to develop their multiculturalism. This action will significantly contribute to the training of these students besides projecting UNESP internationally. The fact that this program is being developed with one of the UNESP's strategic partners is also fundamental. All international rankings place the University of Queensland among the best in the world. With them, we are building an exceptional collaboration program previously focused on joint research and mobility for PhD students and faculty. The joint development of the CLIO program will further strengthen the partnership. University of Queensland is one of the leading universities in this kind of technique, which is uh, teaching our teachers to teach in English. So it's very important for us to have these people here and we welcome them 
to uh, be part of our process of internationalization. Uh, by this process, we will be able to train our students and to get really internationalized and to have classes in English in UNESP, which is very important for the process for the university, for UNESP, to become part of the global universities uh, around the world. Australians and Brazilians have many similarities. And for sure, one thing we have in common is a commitment to excellence in teaching and learning through continuing professional development. We're excited to explore this together. Come and join us.